I wanted to do another video of um, my boots that I've been wearing for a while. These are the Danner Rat, R-A-T, uh, Rugged All-Terrain, I believe. They're the Marine Corps boots that Danner's been issuing. I think Danner uh, originally designed them, and then Welco, and I believe Bates also makes a pair of these, but I believe now Danner is uh, the sole uh, provider for, the, for these boots for the military. Uh, the, the, I've had them for about a year and a half, and if you look at some of the other videos I have, my fishing videos, these were the boots I wore while fishing. Um, they are the hot boots to where they, they don't have any insulation or any uh, Gore-Tex. So they do, they're not waterproof, they do leak. Uh, when I was fishing, what I did was I wore a Gore-Tex sock that I picked up. I think Rocky made the sock. I don't know if they make them anymore. That worked pretty well. Um, when I was submerging above the ankle or above the calf, it would get wet all the way through, but uh, the next day the Gore-Tex sock would be dried out, and I'd put it in a wet boot, and it would be keep me keep me dry. So um, I've wore a little bit down. I've gone on a couple big backpacking trips with this, uh, you know, nine miles in, nine miles out here in the Arizona area. I need to clean these out a little bit. They're a little dirty. Wanted to show you kind of how they make them. Uh, very comfortable boot, but um, I did shine these up a little bit. I, first, initially, I put the uh, Doc Martens. Um, they call this a, a a sav or a balsam. I think this is when Doc Martin was with when they were all made in England. I've had this for a while, and it says it's made of coconut oil, lanolin, beeswax, and other natural oils. It almost smells like their old boots, and they give you a little applicator sponge. So the first application that I did on these was with the Doc Martens and um, I wore them for, that was right after they really got wet and then since then I've done one good application of the Obanoffs and again the Obanoffs, you can see in my other videos I explain what the Obanoffs is and kind of a little comparison but I really like the Obanoffs uh, heavy duty LP, they have some other items too but just the kind of general care that I've used is just a little brush just to kind of get the corners in between the tongue when I take the laces off. This is just a little plastic brush. You use an old toothbrush. And what's nice about this is after, I wouldn't do it right after you apply um, your grease or your shoe, your shoe grease. Uh, wait a couple, wear it a little bit, let it get dusty, let it get dirty. And then you can um, brush it off with a, a damp cloth if it's dusty and then they almost shine up a little bit to where it has a nice patina on it. It gets a little glazy. I know they're uh, rugged combat boots. They're not really made to be shined, but um, it just kind of puts a nice uh, shine on these. You can wear them around town, but um, you can look into these boots. You can find a lot of different reviews on these. These are kind of my general all-around desert boots, my uh, GST, my get stuff done boots. So my wife knows when I put these on, uh, stuff in the yard is going to get done or I'm going to go hiking or shooting or something. But um, there's my quick review of the uh, Danner Rat made here in the United States up in Portland, Oregon. I would definitely recommend this boot. Uh, no matter where you're at, you can get the insulated one, you can get the Gore-Tex one, or you can get the, uh, the Danner Rat hot ones like I did. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Danner.com or you can also go to hitthebreakroom.com and they have an awesome selection of shoes at like half off, 70% off. I'm not paid by Danner, I just like their boots and I hope you like them too.